The key to honing the block is coming up with the same numbers every time, even though the block is different. <clears throat> so that could be the material it's poured out of or how hard it is, one of the two. If it's a real, real hard graphite block, it's going to hone different than a soft graphite block. If it's a soft iron block, like the SHP, they're softer than the little m's, you want the same finish when you're done, and you'll achieve it with the same honing procedure, but that you have to change the load to either get in the block or not get in the block. Because the same load in a soft block is going to put deeper scratches in it than, than that exact same load in a hard block. That makes sense, right? So without that profilometer, all you can do is look at it and say, wow, that looks good, or that doesn't look good. But you really don't know. So you have to have, in order to, the first hole in the block that you're going to hone, and every block's going to be a little different, you, you know, and you can hardness check them and kind of get, after you get a, in tune with this thing, you can kind of have a feel for how you're going to have to start with this thing, <clears throat> where you're going to have to start honing. We hone with one stone right now. That's it. The finish is done with one stone. And it's a 400 grit, um, I think the number is 823. It's a Sun and 823. <clears throat> um, what you're shooting for, you got, you got two numbers that don't matter. RA don't matter. RA is a number that's is interpolated out of the other numbers I'm going to tell you that do matter. And RZ, that's a comp compulated number as well that you don't need to know. But if you want to keep track of it, because I knew those numbers, I kept track of them until I learned the new numbers. Well, the new numbers you need to pay attention to are RK, RVK, and RPK. <clears throat> RK is the average of the valleys. Our PK is the top of the peaks and our VK is the bottom of the valleys. So what we've been doing is we've been keeping the RPK, the peaks, at about 12. And the RVK is in the 30s, high 20s, low 30s. The RK is the killer number that you got to maintain. And that's the average of the valleys. And that's where the oil's going to be, or not. And you want to keep the, R v the RK in the low 30s as well. Now, as soon as you run that thing, you're going to lose RK and our PK. You're going to wear it off with the ring. That's breaking it in, okay? You're not, the, the, the RVK, the depth of the valley, isn't going to change very much. So in, in an engine that runs real good, at the end of the day, the RA, which you all know what that is, is going to be six or seven or less. But we're still going to have RVK, we're still going to have RK, and we're still going to have our PK. Our R PK is going to come down to 8 or 9, but our RA and our, we'll still have RZ, which doesn't matter because that's a compilation, but that number will probably be in the 40s. And that's a smooth hone. Now, if you hone it rougher than that, it'll just wear into those numbers that you want eventually. It'll just take longer. Instead of doing it in two or three pulls, it might take 20. And the only other consideration in this whole thing and I don't think it matters very much anymore, is what you're using for ring face, what the material of the ring is. And we found lately that that high-end steel ring that, that Total Seal makes, if you've got that hone that we just described, and you've got good ring grooves, that thing's settled in in the second pull. It's done. You might pick it one horsepower at a time, but not more than that. 